Okay, I am back, and I've just finished writing my uh, boxrc file. And let's see what had happened here. here is I basically, yeah, I, I think I saved it, and then, and then I was considering what I was going to do next. It, it doesn't have a bootable um, device in there, and it's not going to boot from the CD, so now I want to use my real CD-ROM drive here, and see if I can get away with installing that USD 1.6. So I got all these things here. I want some old and crusty. Yeah, 152 sounds good. There's a package release. Let's go for. There's I386. Let's check NetBSD in here. Alright, now I gotta make sure that my boxrc file has a. CD ROM, we go. Dev CD ROM. What? What do you know? That's what I wanted. <laughs> I don't care about all that. So it's going to be able to boot. I have two of these. Oh my God. This is the new one, isn't it? That's the old one. So I want to find. In fact, I'm going to change the boot order here. If I could show you that. See, I don't need I don't need that graphical or non-graphical DOS. The, I don't need the DOS GUI. To um, now, I gotta do is um, there it is. So that other one wasn't the thing I wanted, but no, that's not it either. But from this web page I just found right here. Type CD ROM. Path equals dev CD ROM. Let's see. I'm going to wonder if that is really. And I'm just going to trust it as dev uh, CD ROM. Okay. And change the boot order. So, what should happen is as soon as I fire a box, I have my hard disk. We've already shown that. And what will happen is, is that. This will start up and I'll try to format or deal with that hard disk. There's NetBSD. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to see what we can do. It's spinning. You probably can't hear it. Hopefully it's not going <laughs> to go out. Come on. I, should be, I was hoping it would be quicker than this. Okay, let's see what we got here. a lot and shall we continue yes we shall hit enter we only found one disk or something we want to be okay we're gonna do that and 1014 said well it should be 1015 but yeah this is a little bit off 1015 so what's the deal here use the entire disk standard with X and Partitions are fine, and let's go with my disk, and we're going to continue. So now it's going <laughs> to. Uh, the next step is to. <laughs> okay, Nick, uh, press return. Okay, we're going to go for a full installation. Yes, and CD ROM, and I'm going to continue. And now it's going to unpack my NetBSD. See where it's green down there and red? It's it's doing hard disk reads and it's uh, reading from the um, see now yeah, it's going as fast as I wanted it to. And I just have to judge from the size of this file how big uh, how long I've been uh, doing this thing. Okay, I'm okay at 42. Um, yeah, about 150 megs is 15. It's about it's about 10 megs every 10 minutes. So I've been going I've been going about four minutes now, right? And I'll stick with that. That's a good thing. Okay, so now, see here there's my there's the C drive right there it's, that this is installing to. And I still have my Windows 95 image over there. Now hopefully this won't take too long. 
and it beastie installs don't take too long this is an older <laughs> version from a while back now I have again I haven't set any of my networking options I haven't set any of my sound you know none of that other stuff you can do that in the um, you can do all that stuff in the um, in the box base configure thingamabob but what you're going to want to do is go back into your box RC file and set it so that it doesn't just go ahead and boot I gotta figure out how to do that or you just have to rename your image file to something else so it will just go <laughs> or, <laughs> or, or, or set up your box RC file again <laughs> and then just see what happened when you made the changes you wanted etc etc this works fairly well uh, fairly fairly happy with it now what good is it for well you, you don't have to limit your hard disk image to to uh, 500 megabytes you could you can make one again there was something there uh, in the options I saw in BX image to make something about as big as 120 gigabytes so um, you can indeed uh, install another operating system inside your operating system and these core these new processors with uh, I'll tell you the truth in an article I was reading uh, basically the whole deal is is that the software isn't made to be able to handle all the processing more than one processor most of the time maybe two at most some of the games are getting to maybe two but certainly not and those and that's when they were separate separate these these are these are simulated additional processors I have eight in mind so <laughs> uh, basically um, it should run as if it's normal in a computer like this so the core duo it's gonna even not as not as new as the one that I have or not as expensive as the one I have it'll it'll do fine and you could run another operating system in there and do what you want you can run Windows 7 in Linux or you know that's why Microsoft released their patch to, to the Linux kernel and open source some software for God's sakes so they knew that Windows would be running Linux and they wanted it to run right you know, <laughs> from their perspective and so they had to contribute some patches to get the Linux kernel to treat their Windows the way they wanted it so yes Microsoft has contributed to the creation of the of, of the Linux kernel so far okay now it says that my box is at 70 m 70 megabytes I'm probably okay um, this is still going I want to finish this fairly quickly so I hope that this is fast I gotta go somewhere and I gotta do things. I have to get the church on time. Anyway, I think you get the idea. I don't have to wait for NetBSD to install, I guess. Um, oh, user X11R6. Well then. Now this was the um, this was the distribution made by Wasabi. So it's supposed to be a little more user friendly. Um, I may be able to just go in there and um, make a change to um, the Xeter TTY's file and get it to go straight into what KDE KDE was then at the time. It looks like it's doing everything. At least it's putting X11 in there. So I hope this doesn't take too long. I, I really I, I'm gonna want to leave in about 10 minutes. So anyway, uh, this this is the first this NetBSD I'm installing right now is the first one that I've ever used. Um, 500 megs is kind of big, otherwise I'd I'd put it up somewhere so people can can look at it. And hopefully it won't run out of disk space. I'm, I'm thinking about that. It only has 500 megs to work with. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell. Another thing in box is if I were to click where it's when it's X'd off, 
I would have a mouse in there in so much as the operating system in there is able to handle a mouse. This is not in the operating system, it goes around. When it was in Windows 95, remember how I was boxed in there, I had actually had to restart for the program to stop to, to get control of my mouse back, because once you do that, you're stuck in this little box, you can't get it out until you restart. Okay, I am at, I'm probably going, I'm about 10 minutes right now. Okay, so all selected distribution sets. Okay, let's continue. What happened here? Am I? I'm not in this box, am I? Making device files. No, it's not making my mouse. That's. <laughs> Now, what what do you mean by device files? Are just configuration files that mean something to the to the kernel. Where am I at? I always have this Los Angeles. Come on, there we go. I'm in Los Angeles. Come on, go over there, you pig. Okay, that's okay, so why can I not? Okay, press X followed by return. Okay. Wanna set a root password? Yes, I will call this one box. <laughs> Tries to bully me into using a bigger path. I'm not doing that. It's now complete, and I am going to exit the install system. I'm going to type reboot. And I'm going to get this thing out of here so that way and there we go. We have an installed NetBSD system on a little disk in my home directory. And maybe I could show you how to get this thing to work. That's, I don't know, I've never, I've never seen it just go straight into an X window, so let's see what happens. Root, root. E O C H S. Now, how is that possible? Root. Now, come on. If you type really lightly, I guess, huh? What's the deal? <laughs> e O C. I wonder. Okay, there I am. Okay. So, I am in. I'm done. I think I'm going to halt the system. Man, it's really, I have to change the, some options on this. I don't know the power for this thing does it. Quit. Okay, I'm done. So I'm going to load this sucker up and hopefully I didn't go.